advice from Thailand here. And today's video is going to be about Thailand reopening, bars to reopen on December the 1st, or will they? Let's hope so. Let's hope this is the start of the good news with regard to Thailand reopening. Welcome to my channel, Retired and Living the Dream, and this is October 2021. And the government have come up with some good news in October 2021. The news is that Thailand is going to reopen, all the bars are going to reopen on December the 1st. And this week on Thursday 14th of October, there's going to be a further meeting with regard to further restrictions of the current lockdown and curfews with regard to Thailand. So fingers crossed, this is the start of the good news that everybody's looking for. After all, it's been a long two years and everybody coming up to winter time wants some winter sun. And people are looking forward to the sights and sounds of Thailand and enjoying their winter sun. As far as will they open on December the 1st, listen to my reasonings a little bit later on in this video with regard to my thoughts on this and the way I see it. So the meetings in the October 2021 these meetings are to be able to reduce the restrictions from vaccinated people traveling around Thailand and also the entry from low risk countries of vaccinated people, whether they need to do a quarantine or not. Hopefully, fingers crossed that the, the feeling is that all the people who are vaccinated coming to Thailand will have free movement. They might just have to do a PCR check at the airport when they arrive and then after that, they're free to roam around Thailand as they wish. Now, this is sort of planned for November the 1st, but at the minute, Thailand is still closed. Bars are closed, restaurants are starting to open up now. Um, most restaurants, you can't still buy alcohol whilst you're having a meal. Phuket is the exception to this rule. They've opened up the restaurants in Phuket and you can have a beer whilst you're having a meal. So gradually the, the restrictions are moving in a more favourable direction compared to where they were two or three months or so ago. At the minute, the infections every day is still around 10,000. So we still need to reduce the amount of infections on a daily basis. And all of this lot could be scuppered if there's a spike in the number of incidents around Thailand. Now, people are going to be looking for some winter sun. At, at the end of the day, Thailand is a beautiful place to visit and there's many, many exciting places for you to go and explore around Thailand. It's a beautiful place. I've lived here for 10 years and I love every minute of living here. Thailand is a welcoming and happy place to be and the tourist industry is dead on its feet at the minute. So you're just going to get more than welcome off everybody with regard to new tourists coming to Thailand. It'll bring added benefits and the wealth that it'll bring to the tourist economy here in Thailand. But some words of warning, and this is our lock upon it, and fingers crossed it all goes in the right direction. But unfortunately, Phuket in the sandbox from when it opened in July up until now has only had about 70,000 visitors. Now there's lots of hoops and paperwork for people to jump through to be able to get to Thailand in the first place. So my question is to you who are looking to come to Thailand, will you still jump through these hoops? Because I'm sure the paperwork will still be required for you to be able to enter Thailand. Are you prepared for all the paperwork? They're traveling through the airport, getting on the flight, long haul flight, getting off at the other end, going through more checks to get into this country. It's still not going to go away. There's still going to be a number of hoops and checks for you to, to go through. But let's hope that people will make the effort to come here. Thailand is looking forward to the new tourists coming back to Thailand to regenerate Thailand. So my reasons why I think it's a big ask for Thailand to reopen in the six weeks between now and the 1st of December, it's a big ask. And there's a lot of uncertainty with regard to opening Thailand. It's been mentioned before and it's failed and it's not materialized. And during the six weeks, if there's a big spike in infections in Thailand, it could put all of these plans back on hold again. So there's no certainty, absolute certainty, that this is still going to happen on the 1st of December. A lot of things can go wrong, but a lot of things can go right. It is a good move that people are trying to reopen and set a firm date. But with all of this um and an hour in, it will, it won't, it doesn't bring certainty. For people to open up the bars in the tourist areas, it's a huge cash injection. 
they need the staff, they need the training, they need to spend money to reopen their properties. Now, these bar owners have been let down so many times, the fact that it takes a big ask for them to open up on December the 1st. Let's hope that there's a number of bar owners that are happy with opening up and will take the risk to open up and in the hope that many tourists will start coming on the 1st of December. Now the 1st of December is the day that it's supposed to all start. So the tourists ain't gonna come back on the 1st. It might take a week or two weeks to settle down, get all the information correct. So let's hope Christmas comes early for Thailand and let's hope that it's goodbye 2021 and happy new year and welcome 2022. Fingers crossed for everybody that this is going to happen. Is there a willing for the tourists to actually come to Thailand? Because the world wants the tourists to go to their location also. So Thailand is fighting against the whole world with regard to attracting tourists. As Thailand got that really big lure to attract the amount of people that they're expecting to attract in Thailand. So that was just a, my quick video. I really hope it does come into fruition as from December the 1st. Thailand needs the tourists back and the tourists need Thailand because everybody loves Thailand. It's a beautiful place to visit. So let's hope that this small step turns into bigger steps and that Thailand reopens for good and we all face a happy and brighter, better future in 2022. So from Les, retired and living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, Bye for now.